I do think they're trying to eliminate us from breakfast on, right? The moment you wake up, the first thing that you're doing is taking Chlormaquat. I hope you don't like Quaker cereal because you're about to never eat it again. Four out of five Americans likely have a lesser known pesticide in their bodies thanks to the consumption of certain foods. A new study found that 80% of tested Americans had the chemical chlormaquat in their systems, a plant regulating agent that is currently not approved for use on edible crops. <laughs> Don't worry about it, guys, because they can import chlormaquat. It's allowed to be imported and enter the country, you know, legally through foreign trade. According to a new brief published alongside the study, alarm bells are ringing and the chemical is thought to be harmful and was found in common oat and wheat based products. Get ready guys, Cheerios, Quaker Oats. Here's what we know about the findings. Chlormaquat chloride is a pesticide used as a plant growth regulator. The agricultural chemical works by decreasing stem height. This prevents crops from bending over, which can make harvesting more difficult. Chlormaquat is not approved for use on edible plants in the U.S. However, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, good old EPA, they allow it since 2018. They allow the importation of foods treated with the chemical. Isn't that interesting? It's not approved for use on food crops, mostly grains in European Union, United Kingdom or Canada. But in the U.S., we can bring it right in. The published study found that chloromaquat was detected in 77 of 96 or 80 percent of Americans tested for chloromaquat. The study found not only that four out of every five Americans have the pesticide in their system, but that the concentration has increased compared to recent years. The study also found the chemical in 92% of oat-based products tested in 2023, traditional and in organic wheat-based products. So even the organic stuff is dangerous. Gosh almighty. Researchers test conventional oat-based products purchased in between June and August 2023. Organic oat-based products had lower detection rate of 12.5%, which is still 12.5% people. A sample of conventional wheat-based products tested in February 2023 also found 22% had traces of chlormaquat. The study authors tested several individual items for a variety of brands for the presence of chlormaquat. The chemical was found in several General Mills products, including Cheerios, Quaker food products, including oatmeal, granola bars, and old-fashioned oats. Molly Wolf, a spokesperson for General Mills, told USA Today in a statement, all of our products adhere to all regulatory requirements. Food safety is always our top priority at General Mills. I think, you know, cost basis is your, you know, concern and not health benefits. They ensure that the product is prepared and packaged in the safest way possible. Health Health side, who cares? Just it's packaged. PepsiCo, which owns Quaker Foods, did not immediately respond for a request to comment. Scientists don't know the exact impact of chloromaquat on the human body, but I think we can guess. Testing has been focused on animals thus far. Some studies have found that chloromaquat is linked to infertility, disrupted fetal growth, delayed puberty, and disruptions to the metabolic system. However, these studies were performed on mice and rats and, and not on human beings, guys. And we don't have any sort of, they don't do tests on mice and rats because there's a, a, a relation to humans at all in the way we respond to things. <laughs> not at all. We don't know if it's translated to humans. We have no idea. Although these studies focused only on the chemicals, potential effects on the animals, they raised questions about whether or not it could also harm humans. Jeez, I wonder if they should have checked on that, you know, while they were doing the study. Anyway, guys, the EWG also noted in 2023 that there's a proposal by the EPA to allow the use of chloromaquat on barley. So now you can get in your beer too, guys. Bill Gates, Heineken, that's probably his doing. EWG has said they oppose the plan. We'll see if they allow it. They allow it to be imported. So it's only just a matter of time before they allow it to be actually distributed and, you know, manufactured here in the United States. Let's <laughs> just sprinkle it on directly. I wonder if they're going to be selling a side product of Chlormaquat. You could sprinkle it on your cereal instead, guys. You get the real benefits, the health benefits of Chlormaquat.
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this story. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this insanity. I do think they're trying to eliminate us from breakfast on, right? The moment you wake up, the first thing that you're doing is taking Chlormaquat. Gosh almighty, someone please leave me some sane comments below. I appreciate you. We're in this together. Hopefully you'll join me. I'm live every day on the Mark Inspires channel for 1,874 days in a row. Join us tonight. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like on the way out the door. Leave a comment and share. I'm live at 9 a.m. and after 9 p.m. So join us. This is the Mark Inspires Show.